Farrah Sports Desk. It's First Coast Sports. Well, it's day two of the high school football state championships in Tallahassee and Hawthorne already brought home some hardware yesterday. So let's see who else can get it done today as we head to Bragg Memorial Stadium as Bradford took on Coco in the two suburban classification. The tornadoes got things rolling first as midway through the first quarter. Dejan Shanks finds Khalil Cummings on a beautiful, I mean a beautiful pass on the sideline for six. And let's take another look at this catch by Cummings. Just ready for it. Perfect ball over the defender and lands in with that foot. That is a tremendous play. However, Bradford would miss the extra point and lead 6-0. But Coco answers back just a few minutes later as Brady Hart finds a wide open Nicholas Teeter for the score as Tigers take a 7-6 lead. And then before the half ends, Tigers tack on another 7 and would lead 14-6 at halftime. And they go out to shut out Bradford the rest of the game as Coco once again wins the state title 20 to 6. Bradford does end their season with a 14 and 1 record under second year head coach Jamie Rogers. Now we take a look at our game from earlier in the day as Mandarin Mustangs took on the Columbus Explorers in the 4M state title game, which was a rematch from the 2018 championship. Columbus gets things going first first drive of the game Hector Chavez forces his way in explorers up early seven nothing Columbus doesn't stop there they would tack on another seven as Aguimena Day fights off every single defender to get into the promised land and explorers up 14 nothing however Mandary finally wakes up QB1 Jermel Jones Jr. finds Jamie French Jr. a beautiful ball in the corner and Mustangs trail 21 to 13 at halftime but now in the third quarter Deont Weish gets the handoff, breaks a few tackles, and he would get in for the score. Mandarin trying to cut the lead and make some kind of comeback here, and they would use that momentum later in the half as well as Mustangs. Joan Jr. Jones Jr. finds his favorite target, French Jr. As the Alabama commit breaks loose, he gets the burners turned on and goes home, but Mustangs just not enough firepower as Columbus Explorers stay strong on defense and go on to win the state title 38-19. Our own Ashley Gonzalez has more from this game in Tallahassee. The Mustangs heading into this game with one state title already under their belt. That one state title came from beating Columbus five years ago this week. We'll flash forward to now. Columbus made sure history didn't repeat itself. Didn't go our way. They're fantastic. Uh, they've been here before. It shows that they've been here before. Our guys are fantastic. I can't, I can't love them any more than I do. We started hot, had a couple low moments, got hot again. Uh, they've done something no one else has done, four wins on the road, and we just came up short. They, they enforced their D-line well. The D-line had good stunts and stuff like that. They got in the backfield, tried to stop the run early because they knew we had great, two great running backs and stuff like that. But just keeping the team together, you know, keeping the bond strong, you know, letting know our guys know that it's not over. You know, we still got next year for the returners and stuff like that. Just keeping them together, that's all, putting them on our back. And despite the loss, the Mustangs have a lot to look forward to as Tramel Jones Jr. and Jamie French Jr. will be back next season. Reporting from Tallahassee, I'm Ashley Gonzalez, First Coast Sports.